What is up, my favorite people? <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Ah, uh, it's Max Production back in the building. You know how it is, man. Ready to cook up. So, yeah, man, this is some song that we, uh, you know, I was just playing around after, you know, after making this beat because, like, I was, you know, you know, yeah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah man, thanks. Thanks so much, guys. I saw, um, with the drum key, we made about, we I saw we had about 40 downloads, guys. I'm really proud of us, you know, 40 downloads, that's a lot yeah man uh it shows that i'm not just um i'm not just like putting out drum kit there for now and but so yeah let's get into it so the first step was the drum loop which i did give people out i gave this loop yeah that's the first loop i gave out and then this is the bass line I have two basses playing here. I've got the bass plug, of course, never go without that. And then I've got the other bass from Toxic Biohazard, and it's called Pure. So you're gonna go to basses, you're gonna scroll down, and you're gonna look for a bass called what? Pure. Where is it? Somewhere down here by P. Pure, Pure, Pure. There is it, Pure. You see it? P U R E, Pure. You get me? So you're gonna look for that bass line. And then now, what I did with this bass line is basically nothing complicated. Look at it. Basically, I was thinking in my head, let me go like boom, 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 I had to go for that, but I feel like uh, let me just keep it simple, you know. Plus, this song was like a motivation from a song I heard. Like, I was inspired by one song I heard. I think it's called Darling, na, 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 Darling, yeah, something like that. We heard something like that, yeah. So, I heard it and I was like, oh, I can do that too. So, yeah, let's let's play. And the next one we had a pad i think we used sona and we added a bit of yeah something else onto that so sona we had sona yeah we had this pad yeah 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 sona and then we had the soft sticks and it sounds like this and of course i did not add anything on them i did not oh we had a mixing yeah you know it's the normal mix i normally do you know just the pyramidic eq yeah the pyramidic eq where i just cut the highs and the the highs and the lows yeah then i leave this part playing that's all and i think i sent i did the same thing to this one i sent it in the same pattern and two yeah i didn't but it sounds good eh yeah that's what i did there and then the next thing that we did is that i came to the snares of course yeah snares you know it's just that sound man i like that sound <laughs> then yeah we had yes just those high heads play you know it's like it bringing the vibe in a beat man yeah man then we had yay yay so i i know you're looking how can i get the same effect it's simple i just like um the normal way i i, I change the pitch down you can always play with the pitch, but before you play with the pitch, you have to come to mode and select straight so that it does not overlap or do anything crazy. And then I came, this is the normal one, and then I added reverb to it, and then this one, I added reverb, and I added a delay, and I cut it short. You see, let me show you. Uh, yeah, I cut this one short, you know? Yeah, then it sounds like this now. Yeah, and then this is the, the lock drum. you are seeing something new because i added another bass line on this another bass normally i would just use fm sub but on this one i felt like we needed to add on uh, <laughs> this bass line called yeah number 23 smooth mc mc yeah funny thing mc yeah smooth mc yeah yeah 
so smooth mc and then the long drama no, it's the same thing we did man it's the same uh i always do it you know how i always do it you see this part it's the same thing like from i copy from the bass and then i paste it then it sounds like yeah all i did is just add some bounce you know and i felt like you see this part this i just added this for creativity and i dropped the velocity down a bit so uh someone might not know how to do it you could click this and then drop this to about one one yeah like that and then you got in now you see you see all you just do is there so yeah yeah that's what i did with the log drum now what else do i have here i have the third second log drum too uh it's the same thing it's the same thing really uh but what i did here is just that i i i, I you know me i like to have to log drum so i added some things on top there and you know bro it's nothing creative it's nothing big it's just creativity you know Is it? so to get this sound i just did the same thing that i showed you when i click this and then you're gonna say one then yeah it's gonna sound like this now you see it's gonna sound like that so yeah but for you to have this sound you need to be up around four you see you need to be by four f by four you know we've got c3 c whatever c you know with the threes but you need to be by four you see yeah we're by three we're by a threes whatever so but for to get this sound that sounds like this you need to be by c fours and above so let's play this and then yeah let's go next thing that we had was well we had the sounds now the melodies yeah we got that one from pana flute actually it's not from pana flute i don't know why it's showing pana flute it's something else but yeah we got this here by nexus i don't remember the sound guys i'm not gonna lie and then um next from purity all right so i'm gonna show you a trick i use in purity and some of you might know some of you may not know so i went i first got the sound this is how it sounds alone then i check nah it doesn't sound good just like that so i mixed it up with this one and then yeah this is how it sounds And I feel like wh what I miss is that I did not add reverb onto this. Let's add reverb now. Let's see how it's gonna sound. You know, put reverb onto this. Uh, we're gonna say this, and then just drop it a bit. Yes. Yeah, bro. Yes. Sounds good. So that's the melody. If you wanna check the melody, it's simple. Uh, it's in the key of F. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. F and then yeah, this is sound. So all I did is this and this. You see, I always tell you that these notes which are together, you always need to use them when you're making your melodies, right? These notes like this, you always wanna use them when you are making your melodies. So yeah, man, let's move on. And then um, what's next is that we got that's other melody I added. You check, it's the same. It's the same play it's the same man it's the same notes but in a unique place yeah man then this is the bass yeah i don't know i downloaded this from somebody i don't know what bass is this man but i just like it so i'm going to share it as well and then let's check uh this is the last pair eh? yeah just the crashes all right now that's what i have for you yeah man that's what i had for you guys hey, amen like i said guys uh making piano is not complicated it's just simple man all you gotta do is remember the few things that make piano and of course that you know you need to remember that you always want to have a fruity soft clipper on your master don't ever forget that and yeah guys that's it i had for you guys today and please make requests and comment what i should do next what it really helps me it gives me ideas of what i should share what i should post and guys please if you can really share this video with people it really help my channel out because like if 
i don't get views i will not be motivated to post any kind of video and if i don't post any kind of videos you don't get to learn so guys please share the videos comment like if you are new here man don't be ashamed to subscribe it's just hitting that button and i know we'll keep you well in our family so guys thank you for watching max production out